Four-month-old baby Kate is missing and presumed dead. Her father, Sean Phillips, who had driven off with her and was found with her baby clothes in his pocket, has already been found guilty of unlawful imprisonment and sentenced to 10 to 15 years. This is a tragic case. It just makes you sick. Things are about to get a lot worse for Phillips. One year later, he is charged with murder. We have evidence that we are convinced will prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Sean Phillips murdered his own daughter. At a probable cause hearing, baby Kate's heartbroken mother, Ariel Cortland, recounts how she learned Kate was missing. I asked where Kate was at and if I could come and get her. And he said no, because Kate wasn't there. And they didn't know where she was at. The defense tried to paint Sean Phillips as a dedicated father. To everything that you could tell, he was loving and caring towards Kate. Yes, I've stated that since day one. The courtroom had heard from Ariel, but was now about to hear Phillips' own words. In a bombshell piece of new evidence, a few months after Phillips was found guilty of unlawful imprisonment, a second letter. In it, a confession? In that letter, did he give you a version of events that had happened to Catherine on that day? Yes. Phillips wrote he accidentally killed Kate while yanking her car seat out of the back of the car, claiming he thought Ariel had already taken the girl out of her car seat and into the house. When Ariel's cell phone, which was stuck behind the car seat, wouldn't stop ringing, he wrote, I grabbed it at the top and ripped it out as hard as I could. She was thrown from it. I didn't know. I'm so sorry. Held her for a long time. Seemed forever. Then Phillips wrote, he left baby Kate in a peaceful place. A fellow inmate of Phillips also testified to a conversation they had behind bars. He said he picked the baby up and got rid of the baby. Did you ask him what he meant when he said he got rid of the baby? Yeah. He said, well, I can't be charged because they won't find the baby. A few weeks ago, opening arguments began in Sean Phillips' murder trial. A helpless baby who the evidence will prove was anything but daddy's little girl. In fact, she was his dirty little secret. There's no blood, no physical evidence, no body. There's been no direct evidence that there was a death. Ariel Cortland, who's already told the terrible story of losing her precious Kate in court two other times, has to take the stand again. What do you recognize that to be? Um, Kate, Kate's car seat. The letters Phillips allegedly wrote to Ariel were key to the prosecution's case, including the one in which he said Kate was in a peaceful place. Phillips' mother, Kimberly, was questioned about that peaceful place. Did you follow up with your son as to where the peaceful place was that he had left Catherine? I probably would have asked him that, yes. Did you? On a personal visit with him, yes. Did he tell me anything? No. Sean Phillips never took the stand in his own defense. Then a twist which surprised many. Judge Waddell threw out the possibility of a first-degree murder conviction. The judge says there's simply not enough evidence for a jury to decide if Sean Phillips committed premeditated murder. After more than three weeks of testimony and three days of deliberations... Would you read your verdict, please? The long-awaited verdict is in. Guilty of the murder in the second degree. Sean Phillips, guilty of killing his own daughter, baby Kate. Phillips, who could get life in prison, had no reaction as he left the courtroom. Mr. Phillips, do you have anything to say about the verdict? Others didn't stay as silent. We're all very thankful to bring justice to baby Kate. Now's the time for Mr. Phillips to explain exactly where uh, Catherine is. There's absolutely no reason in the world to keep that secret. The answer to that painful question still remains elusive, with many hoping Phillips will one day lead them to baby Kate, lead them to that peaceful place. Will you ever reveal where baby Kate is?